Hello guys and welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. In today's show we are going to see how to animate images using timer control. So let's see a quick demo. If you see on this screen Peppa Pig is moving and then returning back, right? Let's see the next screen. You see a loading control here, moving round and round. Let's see the third screen. Here you will see the fading text. From dark green to light and light and then gone completely. So we will learn these three things in this show. So let's dig in, but before that, a small intro. So guys, uh, let's see how the animation effect can be achieved. If you see, I have imported all the images here for the Peppa Pig and a timer control is here which is hidden. Let me switch on the visibility. Alright, now you can see here the timer duration I have put to 10,000 milliseconds which is equivalent to 10 seconds and the Peppa Pig positions you can see I have moved in the uh, vertical order and then I step forward from the previous one right so here uh, if you go to the X position here you will see the timer one dot value which is this timer I'm taking the value of that timer and then just dividing by 8 and this one dividing by 6 I believe and then 188 is the current position plus the timer value and similarly in this one if I go to the X coordinate it's 320 plus timer 1 dot value by 5 and if I go to the last one and the X position you see 495 plus timer 1 dot value by 4 so if I run this you will see the quickest uh, moving is the lowest one because I have given the division by 4 and the slowest is the topmost one because the division is by 8 so this animation is achieved as the timer moves on to 10 seconds so if I play this you see the timer is moving on 1 2 3 like that now if you see up till 10 seconds you will see the timer will be reset to zero and the Peppa Pigs will again appear from the left hand side right so this is how it can be achieved very easily and the other thing to keep into mind uh, during this development is to make the repeat on if you want animation effects to repeat after 10 seconds you have to make the timer uh, keep the timer on and auto start should be on right and visibility you can hide that's not an issue visibility you can hide but uh, repeat and auto start should be on if you want animation effect to repeat itself so for example if I turn off the repeat you see here after 10 seconds you see uh, it doesn't reappear See, at 10 seconds the last one is stopped here it doesn't move forward than this so that is why the timer repeat should be on all right now let's see the other one the loading icon the same uh, feature is applied here if you if I turn on the visibility of this timer it's again set to 10 seconds and here is a loading text I have written the label basically and this is the um, icon I have selected from here the reload icon right so here 
what I am using is uh, is the rotation effect so if I go here to the uh, rotation you see here timer one underscore one dot value by three so this timer is timer one one underscore one and is set to uh, 10,000 milliseconds now if I select this I have given the rotation of this um, icon to the timer value division by three so now if I play this you will see the loading icon is rotating based on the timer value increments right and then as the timer value is repeating hence it is uh, hence the rotation is not getting stopped so this you can use uh, basically if the screen is loading the one screen to the other screen it's taking more time so you can use this effect uh, to tell user that the screen or the data is still loading so uh, this can be utilized in that way or it can also be used in the uh, redirection thing so for example a user submits a value and you want uh, uh, you can give a five seconds timer to redirect from one screen to the other screen so uh, it can be used in that scenario now coming to the third one fading text so if you see here I have just given a label with a just a simple text color fading effect and what I'm using here is the property known as color and here if you see I am using color fade as the uh, function where I am giving the color dot dark green and setting the fading effect with the timer value again if I show you the timer um, here it's hidden I should switch it on so now it's visible right so here here you see it's uh, 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds I have given here so a uh, timer one underscore two dot value by 5000 so here again if I play this app you see so the color is fading as per the timer value and completely vanishing once it, the timer reaches five seconds right so all these properties can be used in developing your apps a bit more efficiently and giving a good um, user experience so these three simple options of power apps will give more uh, power and hope it's beneficial to your power apps development so guys let me know in the comments if this solution helped you in any ways if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and please do subscribe to power cubicle guy thank you guys and see ya